Now, I'm going to conduct a titration where we're going to react HCl with sodium hydroxide. Okay, firstly, let's have a look at the equipment I have in front of me. Okay, this here is my standard solution. I have 1.0297 moles per litre hydrochloric acid. Okay, very accurately known. All right, a standard solution being a solution of known concentration and known composition. Okay, it's in a storage bottle. I've got more here. Okay, I've got distilled water or tap water in this case. What's this called? Conical flask. On the other side, notice I've kept them apart so I don't confuse them. I have my unknown solution. I assume that it is approximately 1.0 moles per litre sodium hydroxide. Okay, I don't know because I just took the solid and I dissolved it. Remember that sodium hydroxide has a certain property. What is it? It's hygroscopic, meaning it absorbs moisture from the air during the weighing process. Okay, so there may be some error with that concentration. So we're going to work that out. And I've got more here. What's this called? Pipette filler. filler. Okay, it's got three buttons on it. The first one, A for air, you squeeze to squeeze the air out. Okay, or just suck more air into it. Okay, here, S for suck. You squeeze this button, it tries to suck air in. Okay, if it's hooked to the pipette, it sucks the liquid up. Okay. This last one here, E, for? Expel. Hmm? Expel. Expel, that'll do. Okay, so I squeeze this button, you'll notice nothing happens to the bulb. It's opening the air pathway down to the pipette and that allows the fluid to flow out. Okay, pipette. This here is a pipette. Okay. This is a B-grade pipette labelled there, which means it's used for teaching, not for research. Okay, it's 25 mil. The word pipette, pipe, it basically looks like a small pipe. Okay, don't confuse it. The other one's a burette. The pipette has a single line on it at 25 mils in this case. Okay, these are handmade and calibrated. 25 mils plus or minus 0.4 mils at 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's a quantitative piece of glassware. Now, what do you clean this out with? Good. You always rinse it out with the solution you're about to put in there. Why? Okay. Firstly, let's have a look at our, our numbers that we have. What's the concentration of this? 1.0297 moles per litre. And this one here questionable. Okay, so which one is the analyte and which one is the titrant? What's the, what's the analyte? The analyte is the solution of unknown concentration. The analyte. Okay, the titrant is a solution of known concentration and known composition. It's your standard solution. Okay, when you're measuring these out, the amount of fluid of the titrant that you measure is called the titra. Okay, and the titra is what comes out of your burette. Okay, your analyte, you measure an aliquot. Okay, an aliquot refers to a fixed volume. So a pipette has a fixed volume, 25 mils. Okay, so we now know that the aliquot must come from the pipette. Okay, your titer comes from this thing here. What's this? This is a burette. Okay, notice the difference between the burette and the pipette. This has a scale. Okay, starts at zero at the top ends at 50 down the bottom. Okay. In the previous class we used that much liquid. Okay. That volume of liquid is called the titra. Okay. So your known solution goes into your burette. 
and your unknown goes into your pipette. And I've explained the reasoning. Okay? Analyte, aliquot, easy, aliquot comes from the pipette. Titrant, titra, it comes from the burette. Okay? Any questions? <coughs>